Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that. I figured why we fool around so little, and we keep track of time. Being so serious. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Yvonne and this is Sticky Mess 17. My channel is all about cleaning information, inspiration and motivation. So if you're interested, please like and subscribe, turn on the notification bell so that you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. In today's video, I've got to clean up this mess. My dishwasher is full, my kitchen counters is just a mess. There's just stuff everywhere. Um, it is a, mm, let's just say a poop tip. Um, so I need to get this sorted up and you've got a little bit of time that I need to get as much done as possible. I am feeling really good today. So yeah, except now I'm out of breath. Anyway, when I get to 2000 subscribers, I will be shaving my head and donating the proceeds of the, my hair to the world. Anyway, when I get to 2000 subscribers, I will be shaving my head and donating the proceeds of the video to the Wales Air Ambulance and my hair to the Little Princess Trust. Please, if you wish to support me and two charities at no cost to yourselves, like and subscribe and turn on those notification bells. And yeah, with all of that said, let's jump straight into it. Pixie, off, off, I'm off. was a thirsty night when I first saw you Those green eyes caught me Yeah, it was crazy It was a Friday night when I first kissed you You struck me like lightning You broke my chains and released me And days turned into nights on the couch in your apartment No, I am not the same Everything has changed Every day so as always, I am starting on the dishwasher, but I also need to clear off my drying rack. If you're wondering where I got my drying rack, which I absolutely love, except my sink is slightly over too far over to the left. I got it off of Amazon and it is linked on my website, stickymare17.co.uk, as is all the products that I use in my home that I get off Amazon. So I got Sally running around and I apologize that there's a little bit of background noise here. Um, I've My kitchen doesn't look that bad, but as you can see, I've got a washing up bowl. I hate dishes in the sink. That is one of my pet hates because you go and wash your hands and then the dirty water goes in the sink and it's just disgusting. So I use my washing up bowl to store my dishes before they need to go in the dishwasher whilst the dishwasher is running or it needs unpacking. It's just a hack I do and it works for us. But obviously it's, everything is contained and tidy but it needs to go in the dishwasher because I've got another load ready to go. Night on the couch No, I'm not the same Everything has changed Every day 24-7 You call my name And I will come running Yeah, every day 24-7 Yeah Now, my saucepans are stainless steel. They're the Kirkland brand, and they do mark pretty easily. They're really good, but I only like the saucepans. I got rid of my frying pans. I donated them. Um, but I find that when they, you get marks at the bottom, the best way to get rid of it is just Barkeeper's Friend, a bit of water, and it makes them sparkle like new. <laughs> Isn't this a good 
good life Sitting on the front porch, sipping on the rocks Citrus in our beverages Citrus in our beverages Show only the good sides Always pretty smiles are covering our faces You know it is all lies You know it is all lies On and on and on it goes Round and round the rodeo Breathing out air for a minute Taking my time to begin with On and on and on it goes Swing it down in life, you know Breathing out air for a minute Make everything disappear You can play my favorite song Put your rose colored glasses on What if we stay right here? Make everything disappear Lay low in the beach in your sun Put your rose colored glasses on Yeah, put your Now if you have a chopping board, don't forget to clean underneath it. Now mine is marble, so it does generally sit quite a while. I do use a chopping board on top of it now, just to save my knives a bit from cutting onto marble. And I'm too lazy to clean that every single time I wash it. So every time I cook. So I use a chopping board on top of that and I just wipe it down with my e-cloth. The e-cloths are antibacterial. If you're new here, I absolutely adore my e-cloths. I'm an e-cloth addict through and through. They only use water, they're antibacterial and they're microfiber, which means they leave no streaks. But Getting back to my point, make sure you clean underneath your marbles or your chopping boards if they just sit there because dirt and juices and things do still run underneath. I like to put my marble through the dishwasher at least once a week, even though I'm not really using it to chop anymore um, and just to keep it sanitary. But I have to move on to the bins now. These bins just don't seem to, they don't seem to be self-emptying and yet they always fill up very quickly. But I find it very satisfying to have a nice clean empty bin. Okay, I'm gonna move on to the bathroom now. Um, I wanted to show you this scrub brush. Now, the only thing I don't like about it is the handle seems a bit flimsy. Um, but because the entire floor is now like a shower proof, I don't know, this is gonna come really in handy because I have been using the scrub daddy with my foot and it's just so exhausting and I'm at the moment I'm fainting left, right and centre, so it's not really safe. So this at least will give it a scrub. It does also come with like two mesh pads so I can do the walls and just make it a little bit easier. I'm just noticing I do need to paint the ceiling. <laughs> That's going to be fun. Um, yeah, so I'm going to crack on and clean this bathroom. It's absolutely disgusting. So yeah, let's get on with it.
now that the floor and the corners have been scrubbed, I'm going to leave that to sit for a bit while I clean the rest of the bathroom because my bathroom does need a very good clean. I haven't been able to do it for a few weeks because I am have been really sick. But um, don't forget to clean underneath your, if you've got one of these plug things, these push down plugs, take it, unscrew it and make sure you clean underneath because you'll be amazed at how much gunk. You can see the dirt in there that is black coming off of there and it just looks disgusting. nothing new but it's so good to see you so now i'm going to use my e-cloth uh, bathroom cloth and just wipe down all the surfaces and the toilet and that and then i'm going to put the e-cloth into the wash i have got a couple of these e-cloths and i will be cleaning them you know once i've used it but i don't use the toilet and then go back to another surface if i'm going to clean with my e-cloth bathroom cloth then i do the toilet on it with its own cloth Just as to me and you. Mm -hmm. i can't be the only one that doesn't get on with these blooming dispenser things i find them so annoying sometimes they work sometimes they don't the one i've just thrown away has been in for about two weeks and it doesn't work so i've just changed the head of it again um the other one in the same unit did work so it's not the unit but anyway now i'm using these scrub pads to clean my toilet i have looked at the dark uh, fresh brush things but these work out are quite a bit cheaper and in my opinion they do the same job um, i haven't personally tried them so i'm guessing but in my opinion they work the same and these are a lot more compact and i like them they clean the toilet really nicely now i'm just going to put some uh, domestos in it and just let that sit until it needs to be used so hold me tight Now that the toilet's been wiped down and anti-backed, I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol and spray it down. This is just works as an antibacterial. Um, it's a rubbing alcohol and it is used all over my house. You love me, oh, 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 oh. I just feel so lucky. This has got to be one of my favorite reasons for having a wet room. I can literally hose it down, scrub it down. I am going to seal the bit between the carpet and the door trim and give it a good scrub. Now, the, I will say in uh, one, my next video, and but I'll just give you a quick explanation here. That um, handle is flimsy because Einstein here did not uh, screw in the handles. I just pushed them in. So yes, it was holding, but it wasn't cleaning. Now I've got like um, a silicon type tape around the basin and the toilet and things um, so that the water doesn't go down into the utility room and wash my utility room out so I am able to hose this down as I've just done and then I'm going to use the squeegee and squeegee all the floor into the shower drain <laughs> If you're wondering why I like my e-class, now I'm using the general multi-purpose one here and look how sparkly my tap is. All I've done is use water to clean it up. It is amazing. I did use some sift cream cleaner just now, but it just sparkles it and the, the, the counter's still wet. But now I need to wipe down everything and my counters and my cupboards um, because there's been a bit of spray from when I've hosed out the shower.
Now I'm going to move on to my living room and sort out and tidy up this mess that's in here because it's again getting on top of me and I find it overwhelming and I need to sort it and I'm rambling because it is just ooh, need sorting out but very satisfying. So now I'm the type of person that gets in the shower, realizes the shower gel is low and then goes, whoopsie, I've run out of shower gel. So I buy my shower gel in bulk and generally I buy it off Amazon because they have deals on bulk buying with shower gel. So that's what I'm doing there. Um, I do need to clean under my sofa couches, sofa cushions even because they are disgusting. I have got my catch-all basket there, which I'm loading up so that I can make my way around the house and put things away. So I've had a lot of changes and I'm trying to organize and sort out. So the house is organized chaos at the moment. There's a lot of stuff that still needs to be put away. The table on the left hand side of the screen is for sorting out stuff um, as it's sort of coming in and leaving the house. I'm donating a lot of things in the proper, from the house. Um, I could sell them, but there's people that are really struggling for the basics. So I'm thinking, well, I've been in that situation and I want to help out as much as I can. So why not give back where I can? So I'm under the sofa and I've just found a pound coin. Does it class as finders keepers if it's your child's? Of course it doesn't. So I will be putting that in her money tin um, for safekeeping. Oh, don't try. I don't like all the things you do. Mess with my head. So this sofa is definitely coming to its last life now. Um, as you can see, the small tiny ribs that were on there a few months ago are now becoming big ribs. So I do need to get that sorted and sooner rather than later. So believe it or not, I actually got another 24 odd minutes unedited of footage for this video, but it's just going to be too long. So there will be a part two. So guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on those notification bells so you're notified every Wednesday and Sunday at 10 a.m. when I upload a new video. Please support two charities at no cost to yourselves by subscribing. And I will see you in the next one. Look after your brains. Take care. See you. Bye. Life goes up and it goes down. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining